I had crashed my drone several months before and finally got around to fixing it, so I thought I'd shoot some aerial shots of the boat build. My son Ducky there on the left, he had come in for the week to visit, and Princess. Ducky had spent the week installing a ladder between the aft cabin and the engine room, and uh, it was during the week so I couldn't film much of it, and couldn't even get to see much of it, but I did get to inspect it. Saturday morning we get started uh, pulling out the material to build the boat stands. The plate there is 3 16 inch plate and it will serve as the base of the boat stand and the top plate. Uh, I don't think so, it never has. Actually, I need to build 10 stands total five for each side. The base plate will be one foot by one foot. The top plate will be eight inch by eight inch. Ducky had never worked metal before so there was actually quite a bit of conversation and uh, training about the different processes and such. Well, I mean, okay, so there's, there's multiple ways of putting steel. There's uh, plasma cutting, my friend. There's uh, oxyacetylene cutting, not my friend. Um, there's shears. You have shears that can cut through this? Oh, yeah, they're huge. They're, they're bigger than my truck. <laughs> Probably way more than my truck, too. <laughs> and then there's. Uh, Oh, and then a cutoff wheel on a grain. Um, <coughs> that was pretty time consuming. It can be. So, and I say like on my grain, but a cutoff wheel because my my metal chop saw is the same thing, just in a bigger size. Problem with, I mean, they each have their advantages and disadvantages. Anything that uses a cutoff wheel or a shear has really pretty, very straight cuts. Okay. Um, downsides include um, generally you can't cut complicated shapes. Right? It's one straight cut. Done. Acetylene, you know, those are great for cutting uh, complicated shapes. Uh, for man, clean and up quickly. I actually think cleanup is, well, it's a pain because now you got to grain it and shit, chip off the slag. But I actually think it's faster to plasma cut it and uh, chip and grain than it is to set up a shear. Funk around with that, you know. Um,
and then if you get into the whole uh, uh, cutting wheel thing, that just takes bloody forever. Yeah. But nice clean cuts. So if you're going to be tight on your material, and no room to grind or you know, then go cut it. used my new mill to drill out the holes and then bore them out to the correct size. Paul cut the one inch threaded rod while I built the first stand to make sure everything was going to work out the way I expected. As I said before, the top and bottom plates are 3 16 inch plate, and the pipes are 1 inch schedule 30. I used threadable pipe because the, or plumbing pipe, because the 1 inch rod would slip into it nicely, whereas if I'd used 1 inch structural pipe, structural pipe is measured outside diameter, where plumbing pipe is measured inside diameter. The plumbing pipe is a little more difficult to weld because they include something in the metallurgy to make the pipe more threadable. The back supports themselves are just half inch rod because I figure they're mostly just under tension, not under uh, compression. I assembled the first one, uh, decided whether it was going to work out the way I expected. It did, so I decided to go ahead and build the other nine. This is the next morning, Sunday. As you can see, uh, everything had iced over pretty good, and uh, that was dirt I was slipping on. Ice had pretty much covered everything, and so I needed to thaw out the bench and get everything broken loose and warmed up enough for it to start welding on it again.
Once everything was thawed and, and uh, dried out sufficiently, I went ahead and started assembling all nine, the last of the stands. was actually from California so I don't think he was too happy with this weather but he was out there giving me a hand. Thanks Paul. Still a pretty cold day, so I ended up happening to rethaw and dry out parts as I went along. Installing the bolt stands was easy enough. I believe I'm going to go ahead and uh, weld some hooks onto the bottom of the, or onto the base plate, so I can run chains from one side to the other, and hooks onto the top plates so I can run chains from one side to the other, just to make sure they don't slip out. All in all, I'm glad I did it and ended up with 10 decent boat stands that will be there until the boat is launched. So, happy days.